Hey guys, welcome back for another demo. Okay, so today what I have for you is a really cool bath bomb. It's kind of different than anything else that I've had on my channel so far. Okay, so I have a chakra bomb, which is really, really cool because it has a stone or a crystal inside, which has some healing properties. And I didn't show you guys this during my unboxing because I didn't realize that this was on the back. However, I have wised up and wanted to show you guys. Um, so there are seven different bombs that she has. They, um, they go from head to toe and each bomb has different crystals or gemstones in them and they have different healing properties. She goes to the different shows and she chooses them individually and she comes home and she cleans them and she charges them by the moonlight. And I just, I think that's so cool that she takes so much care in what she puts into these stones and crystals and that she cares so much to put these into your moms and just what you're going to get out of them when you get them and bring them home. So um, what I chose, quite honestly, I can use help in every single one of these areas. So what I chose was the fifth chakra bomb, which is the throat chakra. And um, I chose it based on the scent and the color because like I said, I honestly could have chosen any of these. But um, if you want any more information on all of this, you can definitely go to her site and check her out because she's got a lot of cool stuff. Okay, so let's go ahead and get to the demo. All right, guys, so here I have my throat chakra balm, and I am so excited to do this. It is really different than anything I've ever had. It's so cool. Okay, and let me tell you guys about this scent. Okay, so it has basil, chamomile, frankincense, lavender, peppermint, rosemary, wintergreen, marjoram, and witch hazel in it and it smells so good. It smells like you're at the spa. I mean, that's just what it smells like to me. I say that a lot when maybe I can't put my finger on exactly what it is, but um, I mean, I definitely smell the peppermint, the wintergreen, I smell the lavender, I smell herbs, but um, it just smells so, so good. I love it. Um, I just can't wait to get it in the water and see what it can do, but if I can just, I can do this without dropping it. I want you guys to hear this. Listen. That's the little, it's, I can't, I don't know if it's a gemstone or a crystal. I don't think we know that until, um, until it fizzes out and we pick it back up in the water, but so isn't that cool? Um, okay. So yeah, let's just see what it can do. I just, oh, I just think this is so cool. I can't imagine that this would be a super easy shape to get a bath bomb in to stay this um this angular and perfect and then get it out of the wrapper looking like this so i'm just i'm color me impressed I can't tell if it's going to float or not. Let's just help it out a little bit. But you know, I just, I think the shape is so intriguing. Ooh, ooh, I'm getting that mint, that wintergreen. Oh, ooh, it smells so good. It's, it's not wanting to float, but it's also not sinking. It's just kind of hanging out like right, right underneath the top of the water. It's, it's kind of what it's doing. And it's probably because it's got, it's got something heavy inside. And not that this is the purpose of this bath bomb, but if, um, if you were stopped up, if you had a cold, oh, this would be so nice.
This is just so pretty. Oh, I love it. And this watercolor is turning a really, really pretty blue. There, okay, it's totally, totally floating on its own now. Oh my goodness, the scent is just, it's really, it's really strong and it's, I can't describe it more than just kind of minty and spa-like. It's gorgeous, it's beautiful. I mean, it's different than things that I usually get, so maybe it's just, it's nice and different for me too. I don't know, does that mean that I'm like getting tired of my normal scents? So is that what we're looking for right here? Oh, oh, okay, yep. That's where our little treasure's hidden. Okay, got a little piece of blue still hanging out right. There. So that's what we heard kind of rattling in there. Okay, um, I'm just gonna cut this off real quick and then I'm gonna open this up and show you what I've okay, got. Okay, so this is what I have and this is what it's called. Now, I'm not gonna pronounce this right. Um, come on. Sodalite, Sodalite. And obviously it's from Africa and this is from the throat chakra and so it's third eye is what this says and hang on one second let's get a better look at it it's kind of cloudy in here today so my light isn't the best but this is a gorgeous gorgeous blue and I love it it's blue and it's so pretty oh I love it and um so it kind of gives instructions also on her card how you can kind of recharge these and clean these yourself cleanse them, whatever. I'm sure I'm not saying that right, but um, I don't know. It's just, it's really pretty. I love it. It's great. Um, so the color of this water, let's go ahead and check that out too. It's, um, I would call it, oh, uh, what did I just, oh, it's like a watercolor blue. Like a really light, pretty, um, it's, it's kind of a watercolor-y. Um, I don't know if that makes sense to anybody, but it's just really translucent and really just a really pretty color, light blue. So, um, yeah, that's the color we have. So let's check out the bubbles. Um, since this was just, I think it was just kind of a fizzer, I'm not sure that it's got any extra in it. I mean, obviously we just saw what extra it had in it, so I'm not sure what that's gonna do, but we will definitely go ahead and check that out too. wasn't expecting that. Usually I can tell a little bit more beforehand if something's going to bubble up or not, so this is a really cool surprise. Wow. That's awesome. Okay, so let's go and check those out close up. 
Okay, so I ran these for a maximum of two minutes and this is what I got. It's definitely a little bit higher than my seat back there. Ooh, wow, look at that, nice and fluffy. Big, and the nice and loose ones. Um, so if I put my arm down in there, it goes to about, I don't know, mid forearm. I did not expect a bubble bath. I don't know why. There just weren't any outside embellishments. I didn't read anything on there that made me think that, but um, this balm just has so much with the shape and the stone and the bubbles and then the scent. Do you feel like you're at the spa? I'm just, I'm just very impressed, very impressed. Okay, I'll let you know what it was like when I get out. Okay guys, so I'm done with my very first rock and oils bath bomb and there's not going to be anything in the tub because in all honesty, I did use a sugar scrub and shave in there, but I could tell that there wasn't going to be anything left over with this bath bomb. And if you've seen the rest of my videos, you know that if I think there's going to be anything left, I will definitely show you. Okay, so I really, really enjoyed this bath bomb. Um, the scent was really effervescent. It is still lingering in my bathroom and on my skin. The moisture level was nice. Sometimes you can't really tell if there are a lot of bubbles exactly what the moisture level is, but there were so many bubbles. I definitely could not leave the jets on the whole time. So if you don't have jets in your bathtub, you can absolutely agitate your water and get a nice bubble bath with this bath bomb. Um, this company is not new to the game. She's been around a little while, but I would still definitely look for her to blow up very soon. She's got a lot of really cool Halloween bath bombs coming out, and I'm going to demo some of those too. So um, definitely go ahead and check out her website and her Instagram page, which I will have listed down below. And um, go ahead and grab some of her stuff before it might all be gone. Um, yeah, so I think that's it for today, but I really appreciate you watching. Like I always tell you guys, I really, really mean it. And I guess I'll just see you back here for the next demo. Talk to you later. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.